Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to a weekly CO2 review. Today we're going to be analyzing the last Commitments of Traders report of 2022. Uh, it has been issued on the 30th of December uh, and the report date is the 27th of December. Today is the first day of the new year, so Happy New Year to all of you. And uh, as usual, we're going to start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials positions. Uh, at the end of the review, we're going to have a look at the newest indicator, the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal, using it on the Euro British pound currency pair, uh, where we have a large uh, COT extreme uh, situation, 329 reports in uh, large speculators uh, net positions. Um, but let's start off with our first market for the review, which is going to be rough rice. Of course, we are analyzing the classic COT report type uh, on futures and options data. So let's get started. Rough rice, 25% change. Again, net positions. Uh, we are looking at commercials represented with the red line over here. And you can see the magnitude of their uh, change um, in their position. So much greater than average amongst the largest changes in the past one year. It is a bearish COT change signal suggesting weakness coming in the next couple of days. You can see we had a similar change size, but in the opposite direction. Uh, not that long ago, it was a successful signal pushing the market higher. And uh, today we're uh, witnessing a bearish COT change signal. Moving on to the five years chart, you can see that we are a bit closer to bullish COT extreme levels. However, with this recent change, we are moving away from those high extreme levels. So uh, not really much to talk about with regard to the extreme or the other way I like to call it, the stress level in the market. So let's move on and have a look at lean hogs where we have a 24% change in commercials net positions. You can see the change size over there being again greater than average, pointing in the same direction. However, here we have witnessed a bit of a decline already. So I don't usually um, consider these change signals the best. I like the, the fact when the price is actually just the opposite, um, and which was the case uh, for rough rice. Uh, but let's move on and have a look at the five years chart. And here you can see that again, we can conclude that there's no uh, extreme in the market pr uh, present right now. So there's not much to conclude from the stress analysis. So let's just move on and have a look at another livestock, live cattle, <clears throat> where we have a 20% change in commercials net positions. We're not surprised to see the correlation, of course, between these markets. Again, bear suit to change signal, however, a better situation because as you can see, the price is rallying as we're speaking. So this suggests that we could see a bit of a decline in the next few days, we shall see what happens. The, the magnitude is not that super uh, large. You can see what happens when we have a much greater bearish COT chain signal. This was a very successful COT chain signal halting this rally and actually moving the market a bit lower. Now, switching to the five years chart, once again, we get a chance to examine the stress levels, which is not that large. If you were to look at it in a shorter time frame, let's say a two years time horizon, you may argue that it is a bit more bearish. But honestly, I don't like the, um, you know, when you have to spend too much time to really speak something into the analysis, I like the uh, extreme to really pop out and be, you know, super obvious. So I, I might as well just uh, continue my search for better opportunities. So large speculator COT extreme, as I said in the uh, beginning, we have the Euro British pound currency pair. There's of course a futures uh, for this specific currency pair. Uh, we have a significant 329 report extreme in large speculators. This of course being a bullish COT extreme, uh, suggesting further rallies in this market. Now, I should point out that this is a market that we do not have that significant COT history. You can see that it dates back until 2014. Um, I would um, suggest that anybody trading this market go open up the Euro current, uh, the Euro futures um, 
market and analyze the COT data on that one and then do the same for the British pound and then understand the you know strength and weakness in these markets and then come to the conclusion um, what you want to do. Uh, I, I honestly don't think that this is the best way of analyzing this currency pair simply because there's not enough data and it's not necessarily the uh, <clears throat> you know the deepest market um, liquidity so I would I would argue going for the separate markets uh, the next market is soybean meal here we have a 240 report extreme uh, switching back to the five years chart which I think is is, is sufficient um, you can see that it is an unquestionable bearish COT extreme. And by the way, soybean markets tend to be successful um, for COT analysis. As you may see in the past, you can see bearish extremes coinciding with tops. Um, as you can see on the 20, this 2018 um, extreme is, is something uh, that has been proven to be correct. And we are building this stress level as we're speaking. It doesn't mean that we are gonna go, you know, turn back down. It seems to be this is a, an important resistance level uh, that if breached, we could see much higher prices and possibly uh, coinciding all time COT extreme uh, coming for weeks and possibly month ahead. So just, you know, caution not to jump at this uh, opportunity right away. It does say that, you know, stress levels have been building up since September. October of 2021, gradually we are reaching bearish levels. <clears throat> and last but not least for this COT review, um, Canadian dollar, here we have a 122 report extreme in large speculators net positions. And of course on the chart, it becomes uh, visible that this is again, a bullish COT extreme suggesting higher prices coming in the medium to long-term future. Uh, we have seen greater extremes. So as you can see on this five years chart from 2019, we had greater uh, extremes, but uh, nevertheless, it is something uh, to be aware of. Uh, we have seen the Canadian dollar lose value against the US dollar since May 2021. Uh, this bullish extreme suggests that this could change and we may see the, dollar, the Canadian dollar start gaining value. Uh, against the US dollar. Now, let's move on and have a look at the Euro British pound pair and what the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal does. So the ICOT intraday indicator, let me just briefly show you uh, that because that's the base uh, indicator. Um, we have a wonderful uh, part here on our website giving you a lot of example charts and we do have some very useful tutorial videos as well. So here we have our own indicator, the ICOT intraday indicator. You can see we have similar charts as the classic COT charts. However, this is not data from CFTC, but rather our own indicator uh, developed after many, many years. And of course, the goal was to get something that's real time COT analysis, measuring stresses in the market. Uh, we have the signals, uh, speculators, green line uh, signals coming when the candlestick changes its color. And we have commercials, red line here, uh, signals indicated by this uh, yellow diamond. And when the two are at the uh, present at the same time, confirmed by this balance line, this gray uh, line over here, uh, then we actually get these so-called stripe signals that are the strongest signals of all. Now what the after signal does is it actually uh, filters out a bunch of these signals and tells you when it is possibly the best time to enter the market. Here we have a stripe sell signal in the Euro British pound currency pair just around that top. And of course the after signal catches this top and lets you ride this market through for quite some time. This is a four hour candlestick chart. And again, gives you the opportunity. Uh, we do have some buy signals as well throughout the way. This is a four hour world, of course, and this is how a one hour candlestick chart looks, catching the bottom, and really you can ride this through as the market is headed higher. Throughout the course, we're not surprised to see some sell signals as well. Um, and of course, let's, let's just show you uh, a 15 minute candlestick chart this is what we what you would see with a 15 minute candlestick so chart. You can see that we have some buy signals coming after one another, but it actually sells 
um, this market a little bit later when we uh, cross this so-called confirmation line. And then, of course, we enter on the opposite side uh, after getting some uh, bullish uh, signals from the system, but we wait and wait until we are confirmed to get into the market. So this is the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal. Um, there's a lot to learn at COT base if you're new to COT analysis. <clears throat> On COT is a page where you will find a ton of educational material showing you what the different report types are, the disaggregated reports. Uh, we have some typical setups shown. Um, we show you what markets we cover. Uh, we have a very useful uh, page resources where you could actually um, uh, find books and articles that we suggest you to read. Um, we have a, a help page uh, with videos that will guide you through the analysis process. And as I mentioned earlier, we have I, the, uh, the indicators, the pro basically including everything that you see on the website, but you can use our tools in NinjaTrader. We have ICOT, the intraday indicator, uh, the basic that I just show you the example chart, uh, charts, uh, and the ICOT with after signal that gives you a little bit more help on when to enter ex exit and where you can really set your stop levels and again a bunch of uh, example charts for you over here i do appreciate your attention once again happy new year i wish you guys a lot of success in 2023 and i hope you will join me in my cot reviews in the new year all the best to you take care goodbye